uh, it's very easy for people to talk about an all Ireland strategy, an all island strategy, and they even set up shared island units. But when they don't even share travel locator forms between the two jurisdictions that exist on this island, I think that all those things are quite frankly all mouth, no trousers. And, uh, uh, you know, you can easily pay lip service to all of these things. I mean, the issue, the legal issues around not sharing um, the travel locator forms, it's about GDPR. Really? That's the excuse that it's all been about? Mm -hmm. And I think that the Irish government really has a responsibility to say if it really cares about its citizens and it really cares about making sure that on this island we are all safe share the locator okay. forms. Well, let, let's, stop messing about let's, and stop making it an excuse. And let's hope that that's dealt with. And we had the Tony to here earlier and he said that the new Level 5 restriction period now will end on the 5th of March. And one of the reasons that date was chosen was to line up with what's happening in Northern Ireland. So is there a new era of cooperation happening north and south now? Well, well you, you passed over the shared locator forms just a little too easy for me, Claire. Um, you know, you say on the 5th of March... Uh, things are we're working towards a date on the 5th of March. Let's be clear about this. We asked for the shared locator forms on the 17th of March last year. We're talking about a year's delay. Yeah. This isn't a minor thing. Yeah, and I that's suppose, why we're look, having all this look, other for, 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 activity for, around For it. people at home, and I'm not saying that's not a small issue, but I don't have the forms, Ian, so I can't give them to you. But look, I, I hope they're sorting it out. I hope I'm they're sorting it out. You, the, the, I'm not blaming you, Claire. I'm not blaming you. What we're trying to find now is a solution because people here are so worried about what happened after Christmas. They're yeah. so worried about the fact that the vaccine might not be the silver bullet here. And we're trying to figure out a way forward that might give us some sort of a normal life. Geographically, I think they're right to be worried. Geographically, I as Matt Carthy said, I think they're right to be worried. We're an island. We're surrounded by water. Let's forget about politics. Let a, let's forget about yeah. the border, about Brexit, about all of that stuff. This is about people surviving this horrendous COVID virus. Is it not time now for us all to say, let's take advantage of the fact that we're an island? Well, look, it's, it's too simplistic uh, to actually do that. And let me just use the New Zealand example. The last time I checked the geography of the world, uh, New Zealand was two islands. So you can actually have a, a British Isles approach to this. We can actually share our experiences and use our power together as two nations. And that would be a far better way of approaching this and of actually dealing with it because we are not going to close ourselves off from our nation's capital or from the other part of our country. That's just not going to happen. We've got to be realistic about that. And I do believe that we can do things, control things around the border, as was said by your expert earlier. And that would surely be in everyone's interest to show what they that they care about mm. their local community. Because this is all about local communities and local communities making sure that they can help each other and work through this problem and go beyond just living through it.